Summer's almost here, so that means it's time to get buff. Is that a little cheesy? Yes. Yeah, I think so. Oh well. Hey friends, Peter Fasciano here. Welcome back and thanks for tuning in. Today's video is gonna be about the buffs. Since summer's coming and I'm gonna be outside a lot doing a lot of camping and hiking and fishing and kayaking, I thought I might go ahead and cover the buffs and how you can actually use them and put them to use uh, while you're outside. I don't know if a lot of people know what these buffs are and how helpful they can actually be when you're outside. So these are like a synthetic material. It kind of just fits over your head, fits over your neck, and it protects you from the sun, kind of keeps you cool. I'm just gonna kind of show you the many different ways that you can wear it. You can get on the Buffs website and take a look there. I think there's 12 different ways that you can wear this. I only wear them a couple of ways because when I'm fishing and kayaking, I don't want the sun on my neck. I don't want them on my face. Uh, I want to protect my ears, my nose. But let me go ahead and show you the different ways that you can wear this. I'm gonna take my glasses off and just kind of work from my neck up and then I'm gonna take it off and then show a couple of different ways that you can use it by manipulating the actual buff itself. So here we go. So the first one is simply just wearing it around your neck. So just bunch it up, slip it over your head and it gives you neck protection, just like that. Next, if you just take it, just pull it up over, and you have basically a, a half face mask. And when I kayak, I just have this, this hat. So this definitely gives me some protection. Uh, if I want a little bit more, I can pull it up a little bit higher. Kind of like that. And then again with the hat on. This definitely gives you a lot of protection. You can pull it underneath your chin. Instead of to have just like a hood instead of a face mask. You can also take this and put it into a, what do they call it, a balaclava, balaclava. So this is where it gets a little tight underneath the chin for me. So if you just have this as just a regular hood, if you take the bottom portion of this and just pull it up and over your face, this takes a little bit of adjusting to get it to get it right, hold that a little bit, pull that up. And this is essentially how I wear it the most. Um, when I'm out on the lake and we're doing kayaking, this pretty much basically covers everything. It covers my neck, covers my ears, covers my nose. And essentially the only thing that I have to worry about is this part of my face where I'm wearing my glasses it's perfectly fine and everything is covered up and I can spend hours uh, out on the water and it makes absolutely no difference and it's comfortable to wear a little bit a little bit tight here um, but it stretches out just a little bit it keeps you th you would think that this would be hot uh, but it really isn't uh, I was out on the lake the other day it was 100 degrees I wore this from I want to say 10 o'clock in the afternoon all the way until sundown and to tell you the truth i forgot that i had it on uh, in fact i actually had two of these on because i forgot my hat so what i ended up doing is having this green the green buff uh, and i turned it i turned it into a beanie so i just turn it inside out put your hand inside here kind of twist it on itself, fold it over, and just pull this down. And I went around the lake like this the, enti the entire day. And when I got done, everything was good. Um, 
it was comfortable. I mean, it sounds a little bit muffled. I had a, um, a kayaking shirt on with full sleeves and a button up and I just flipped up the collar, stuffed it up underneath this. And I really don't think there was any skin uh, exposed to the sun. And when I got done kayaking, I was perfectly fine. Um, so, so I got the beanie, balaclava, is that how it's called, balaclava? I'm not exactly sure how to pronounce it, um, but that's good. Again, got your, your neck, your half face mask, full face mask. The hood, the balakava, take everything off, turn it inside out, kind of get your hand halfway through, twist it, flip it over in on itself, and now you have the beanie. From the beanie, you can actually do what's called um, the pirate, and that one I believe it's it's inside out, and you put your hands through on both sides and just pull it through in on itself. Kind of goes into a knot. You have this little open area here, and just kind of put it down. <laughs> Everything's backwards on the on my monitor, so I'm struggling a little bit. So that's the the pirate. I don't think I ever used the pirate. Take that off, and then obviously it's just the uh, just the regular do rag. Just flip that over. Lays that lays flat. Got a do rag there, and again, all this stuff is this is a really thin material. So when you wear a hat, baseball hat, whatever it is that you're wearing, uh, it doesn't really affect it in any way. It kind of it's just seamless. Just goes right on. You don't even know it's there. So so that's about it. Let's go ahead and uh, take it out onto the onto the kayak. Let me show you guys what it looks like in action, uh, or what it looks like out in the wild. And if you're interested in picking these things up, um, go to Buff's website. I'm not sponsored by Buff in any way. Uh, I have like 300 uh, subscribers. Um, so <laughs> definitely not uh, sponsored by anybody. Um, I just like these. This is a good piece of gear to have with you at all times. Uh, these things never leave my kayak. These things are always uh, in the zipper uh, right behind my seat. So even if I forget a hat like I did uh, the other day, the, I know these things are in there and they're very versatile and I would not leave my house or would not go out kayaking uh, without them. They're good for hikes, fishing, uh, any, any time that you want to protect uh, your face, your neck, your ears, um, anything from the sun, definitely go out and get some of these things. And they're relatively inexpensive, uh, I guess that's it's all relative, but anywhere from, I think like $22, anywhere up to like around $45. They have a whole bunch of different stuff. They have hats, they have merino wool, they have reflective bug repellent, UV, the original buffs, they have arm sleeves, they have gloves. So they have a whole bunch of stuff. Uh, I'll have these in my camping equipment. I'll have these obviously in my kayak. Uh, I will have them in my truck. So, you know, again, these are one of those things, just like the life straw, you know, I'd rather uh, have them and not need them than need them and not have them. So if they're just kind of laying around, they're like 20 bucks, uh, just throw them in these various places where you think you might need them. And with that, let's go ahead and load up the kayak and show you guys what these look like in the wild. <laughs> 